Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures, the series where I take a look at indie point and click adventure games for around about 15 or 20 minutes and then hopefully if you like what you've seen you'll go ahead and play the game for yourselves and this week I'm playing the demo of Lucy Dreaming, something that's caught my eye on Twitter a couple of times actually and also Yak Waxlips made a video where he showed the trailer for this and it just looked really good. It was beautiful pixel art great humor on the dialogue from everything that I've seen so I was really excited and I reached out to the dev and asked if I could play the demo and everything and they are well up for it so here we go new game we're just going to jump in we're going to see what this is all about I'm really excited about this and also it's worth mentioning that the full version of this game comes out next year in 2022 and I believe there's a kickstarter beginning for it either next month in May 2021 or June I think but um I'll share details of that over my Twitter when it happens if you're interested. But here we go, start game. Hi, I'm Lucy, <laughs> and this is my recurring nightmare. Not only is it gut-wrenchingly terrifying, it's not even original. I really need to do something about it. <laughs> but until then, watch out below! Yeah, the voice acting was one of the things that immediately grabbed my attention when I was watching the trailer. I've been researching something called lucid dreaming, which could be the key to controlling my dreams in the future. But recently, my anxiety's been so bad, I can't even get to sleep. Dr. Internet had a load of suggestions which I wrote down in my notebook. If I can accomplish them all, I may stand a chance of getting a relaxed night's sleep. Let's have a look at that list. Okay, things to help me sleep. Calm music, soothing lights, firm head support, a warm drink, suitable nightwear, and a comforting toy. So, we need all of these things, and already I'm noticing there are a ton of references packed into this room. Uh, we've got Guybrush sitting here. We've got, uh, why can't I think of the name? The, the car from the Ghostbusters. That will come to me later on. Um, we've got, I think that's Melee Island there from Secret of Monkey Island. There's probably even more E.T., lava lamps i mean there's so much crammed in here i'm probably missing half of it but there's a lot of cool little easter eggs in this and actually i believe the developers are running a, a competition to find a specific easter egg in the, in this demo and if you do manage to do it they'll create a pixel art version of you for the game which is pretty damn cool so uh let's have a look and see what we can find here there's a glass of water it's got bits of dust floated on the top oh that doesn't sound very pleasant does it okay but i'm not drinking it it's been sitting there for weeks <laughs> i wouldn't recommend drinking it then it provides an intense beam of harsh white light right so i wonder if there's a way we can okay make it calming then because we need soothing lights so there must be something we can do it's a glass of water that was next to my bed for as long as i can remember right so can we like use it with that doesn't need a drink it doesn't need a drink okay so we can combine objects and things let's look at the duvet it's lovely and snuggly okay can it's we it's too big we can't pick it up flaccid pillow most of its feathers have gone now it's way too limp to provide any proper support right i don't we... need to carry it around right we can't carry it so the bed this is where all hell breaks loose <laughs> Okay, uh, there's a really annoying fly buzzing around here as well, which is very off-putting. Let's look at these it's books. It's some particularly uninteresting books. Okay, stack of paper. It's a stack of paper for when the creative urge takes me. Can it we... rarely does. <laughs> Can we take I it? I don't need to do any drawing right now. We can't. It's what a plasma It's ball. full of pretty purple lightning. Can we use I that? I can't reach it. Oh, so can we... A Ludo doll. It's my limited edition Ludo doll. He's too precious to actually play with. Okay. Uh, all sorts of cool I things on here. I love antiques. Can we take this down? I stuck it to the wall with industrial glue. This bad boy is never coming off. Well, you say that, but can we potentially use some water that on it? That doesn't need a drink. No. Can we... This bloody fly. <laughs> okay, so there's a lamp here. It's a skull lamp I picked up in a junk shop. Okay, does it this... doesn't work. I just like the look of it. Right, so it doesn't work. I don't need to carry around a skull, thanks. Uh, can we... No, we can't look at the skull separately. Jeff, the dying fly trap. Apparently they need water. Who knew? Oh, well, we have water. There you go, little fella. Hey, Jeff. Good to have you back with us. 
Ah, so Jeff. Oh, look at Jeff. Jeff's. I'm sure he'll catch another fly soon. Yeah, hopefully he catches this one because it's really irritating. <laughs> oh, there's the TARDIS there as well. Um, I've just noticed that one. Clive the Piranha. It's my pet piranha, Clive. He has two loves in life. Shiny things and shiny things that move about. Right, so potentially something like this, maybe? Let's look at the guy brush doll. He doesn't even look like a proper pirate. <laughs> He's had enough fun for one genre. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's a Transformer He's here as well. He's in disguise. He is in disguise. Although admittedly not a very good disguise. <laughs> that is true. His head's a bit loose. I'll leave him there. Okay. Uh, what's this spaceship? It's from a cancelled TV show. Okay. It's too big. Echo. Stop. Do you notice how I didn't say anything to trigger that and it just started answering that question? That freaks me out a little bit. So, yeah, I'm the being spied on. Click. Stereo, very it nice. It plays cassettes. Does it? Uh, they don't have an option open. The number plate says Ecto-1. Indeed. I don't need to catch any ghosts today. What did that say? Pick up inappropriately painted hearse. <laughs> oh my god, nursery rhyme book. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. What a knob. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that got me big time. I don't want to carry it around with me. <laughs> what a knob. Jeez. Galileo, volume two. Very nice. Uh, what, look at all these books. The big book of the 80s. Very nice. Can we do anything it's with this? It's a money box. No matter how much I put in, it never gets full. I've got to say, this is it. this is so funny so far. I'm loving it. It's a big round map of the planet. <laughs> a big round map of the planet. I don't need to pick it up. <laughs> oh, the humour in it is brilliant. My collection of manga comics. Lovely. Which ones have you got? I don't want to read them. All right, we don't want to read them. Apparently, we don't want to pick up any of this An stuff. An inspiring collection of jokes for carnivorous plants. Oh, okay. I don't need any of these We don't books. need it, though. Uh, what are these books? Caring for your piranha. Nice. Can we talk to this? Hi, Jeff. Looking snappy today. Jeff, do you want to eat this fly which is shooting around all over the place? Let's have a look at this. This fly is really annoying. You're telling me. I don't want any cold tea. Okay, we don't want cold tea. It's got swinging balls. <laughs> Clive loves watching it move. <laughs> Let's turn okay. it on. Clive does love watching those pendulous balls. I bet he does. Right, let's... Um... Nah, I'll leave it where it is. I'll probably end up carrying lots of other crap around with me anyway. <laughs> As you always do in adventure games. Right, okay. so... I wonder Clive if... does love watching those pendulous balls. I wonder if we can... Yeah, let's pick that up while Clive's okay, distracted. Okay, let's see what he's guarding. Ooh, a little silver key. How exciting. Ah, I wonder what the key's for. It's a plain little key. Does it maybe open the door? I don't know. Let's look at the chair. It's great for sitting on. Oh, perhaps it fits this. I've just seen this. It's a drawer with a little keyhole. Right, let's use that on here. There's a hairdryer in here. A hairdryer? That's convenient. I don't even need to plug it in. What do we need that for? Uh, car music, soothing lights, firm head support, warm drink, comfort in toy. It's the toy. That could be the comfort in toy, right? Um... Can we open any of the other drawers? It's a drawer that's been jammed shut for as long as I can remember. Right, okay. Um, what about it's that one? It's not even a real drawer. <laughs> it's not even a real drawer, okay. Can we use the empty glass here? I can't keep a fly in this. It's got no lid. Right, so we need something with a lid to potentially legal grey area. <laughs> nice island. I'm not sure if I should even have this on my wall, though. <laughs> legal grey area, I love it. Better not. The keyboard had tea spilt on it yesterday. Oh god, okay, so can we use Better it? Better not. No. The keyboard had tea spilt on it yesterday. Yeah, you don't want to spill tea on your keyboard, that is for sure. Uh, we can't go out there. I have to be careful around the house. If it's old, expensive and breakable, my parents probably have one. Okay, let's head... I wanted to try and use the light switch to see if that would... Okay. Is that going to lure the fly somewhere? We need something with a lid to trap him. Okay. 
Let's go outside anyway. Hey, look, there's a massive egg here. I'm guessing it came out of the back of a massive bird. Otherwise, ouch. <laughs> My dad got them for looking at birds and our neighbours. Wow, okay. Probably shouldn't be doing that, that is for sure. Uh, what have we got here? Fishing trophy. It's my mum's. She loves a rod. <laughs> oh my god. I don't need to impress anyone with my angling prowess. Can we do anything with this egg? I don't want to break it. No, okay. I don't need... We don't need it. She wants to back the full game, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. You don't need it, but maybe it's in the full game. It's a collection of classics that have never been read. Every house seems to have those. If I knock it over, my mum will go mental. It's plastic. It's plastic, okay. So that's not gonna help matters. Can we do anything with the window? Those clouds look pretty nasty. Uh how about if I we think open it? it's probably safer to leave it closed. No, okay. Uh socket. The lamp's plugged into it. Yeah, can we unplug the it's lamp? It's attached to the wall. Yeah, I know it is. It looks even better when it's turned on. It's safer to turn it on and off at the switch. Oh, okay. So do we have to use the switch? Ooh, pretty. Ah, so could that be the soothing Probably light? Probably not a great idea while it's switched on. Maybe. Maybe that could be the soothing light. There's a picture up here. What's in this room? That's the bathroom. That's weird. It won't open. This must be one of those not included in the demo kind of rooms. <laughs> it's yeah. lucky I don't need a Wii. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is too much. I'm loving it. Oh, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Sick joke. Mr. Fumble, what has he done to you? Lloyd, you're sick. Yeah, Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> the laugh. The noose is too tightly knotted. Right. I'll need to cut it with something. Okay, we're going to need something to cut it with. My parents nailed it shut after Lloyd threw his hamster out of it. Oh my god, Lloyd sounds like a... An interesting character. I don't want to see whatever it is he's doing in there. Yeah, maybe it's for the he's best. He's in there now, but I can't see what he's up to. Can we just open the door? Not even if you paid me. <laughs> Why is Lloyd not in the picture? It's my brother Lloyd. He was biting the photographer's leg when this was taken. <laughs> Fair enough. It's me carrying Mr. Fumble, my toy bear. So maybe this is the comforting toy then? I don't even want to think about what goes on in there. <laughs> Probably for the best. Uh, right, let's look at this painting then. My parents bought it in Venice. Right, so that's a Last Crusade reference then. For the, the, it's the library, isn't it? Where you have the stained glass windows and things like that. Uh, wow, okay, look at the decor in this place. Valuable and precariously balanced. Lovely. Can we get it? Better not. It's probably worth more than our house. Okay, fair enough. Massive salmon. Mum's prize salmon. Can we... Dead salmon don't have many uses, even in this game. I didn't know if it was like a singing I don't singing really one. want to touch it. Okay, I don't blame you. Right, what else do we have here? There's decorative stems. They're tall, thin and pointless. Well, yeah, let's take I them. I don't want them. No, we can't take them. Wellies. It's my mum's boots covered in monkey fish scales. Ugh. Ew, not without very good reason. Some sort of fishing photo? It's my mother fly fishing in Scotland. Okay. It's made of hickory. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, hickory hey, dickory I can dock. see all the way through to the lounge. Oh, can you? I'm too big. I should probably use the door instead. Ah, uh, yeah. Is this a real hedgehog? We use him as a boot scraper. Oh, uh, yes, one of those things. I can think of at least two good reasons why not. Uh, why two good reasons? Right, let's check this end of the hallway then. What is this? Unlucky pheasant. He's got lovely soft feathers. Uh, oh, we can look at the, the plaque. Fasciana shuttless. Rare male shuttle pheasant. Okay. It's screwed, just like the pheasant. <laughs> I can't reach him. You can't reach him, he's only just there. Everything's backwards. Well, yeah, mirror will do that. Uh, can we... Oh, it's, it's locked. It's a small lock for the top cabinet. Okay. No idea what's even kept in there. So, I'm guessing we're going to need a key. I don't have the key. Yeah. Let's look at this note then. Your mum's out at the stork baiting for fun -f -f day. <laughs> Please don't go in the kitchen. It's being repainted after her uh, mishap with the flamethrower. Oh my god, Dad. I think we need to know a bit more about that. It leads to the kitchen. Uh, what do we have here? A, a squirrel? 
Poor little fella. Yeah, and a This bolt. was Lloyd's first victim. It had to be sewn back together again. Oh my god, Lloyd no sounds... No thanks. I don't want to carry around a dead squirrel. Fair enough, right. Great if it's raining outside, which it isn't yet. Yeah, uh, oh, a walking stick as it's well. It's made of wood and has a rubber thing on its bottom. I don't need a walking stick yet. Okay. It's not raining. No, it's not raining. Uh, right, let's try one of these doors then, see as we can't go into the kitchen. Uh, that's the garage, and that's the... Oh my god. Okay, so the dad's in here doing some sort of meditation or something. Um, wow. Okay, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it, because I would love you guys to go ahead and play this for yourselves to see what happens next, because it is a lot of fun. And after all, that's what this series is about, you know, creating a bit of exposure for some upcoming indie games and, and hopefully getting you guys on board as well so that you support them when they come out. So if you want to play this, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and down the demo. Da sorry, down the demo. Download the demo. It's completely free. I mean... Judging from this opening 15 minutes, I think it is absolutely worth your time because it is hilarious. It looks great too, um, and I'm really excited for the full release of this one. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, and Wayne for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button down below the video because it will help the channel to grow and also get this video out to more adventure game fans and spread the word about the game, um, which would be absolutely amazing. And I'll see you all next time.